here we are at 1725 Hayward Street. Nice sunny day. I have to say that this house is on a very nice street of Hayward Street. Nice, beautiful, well-maintained houses on either side of the sidewalk. That's the driveway. That was another realtor coming to take a look at the house. Um, this house has been on the market just a little over the week. It's uh, priced at $325,000. It's got three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and it's just shy of 2,100 square feet. I like the nice landscaping and the tile walkway. Or Actually, I think these are large slabs of slate coming up on the front porch. Front porch also has a nice tiled, you know, floor. This house has been ma well maintained and updated. I was pleased to find that, you know, the hardwoods are in good condition based on a visual inspection. There's your masonry fireplace. Enjoy having the plantation shutters as well. Nice high ceilings. It's a very nice living room. To your left, you have the dining room, again with the plantation shutters. Just wanted to point out the uh, original French doors with the hardware. Okay, just do a quick pan of this room. Now coming back into the living room, we're going to go ahead and enter the hallway to where the other bedrooms are. Behind this door, we've got a coat closet from when guest comes to visit. Nice thing about this hallway is the high ceilings are continued. You've got the recessed lights. First door to your right is going to be the master suite. Also pretty spacious. I like that there's built-in cabinets. There's three closets in this room. You have closet number one, your standard Shandon size closet, if you will. Okay. And then you've got two other closets that are kind of built in. You've got a towel, you know, hanging bar there, another hanging bar under behind those doors, and then you've got two other cabinets with shelving as well. Okay, let me just do a quick pan here. And then through here you have the master bath, which has been updated. You've got a whirlpool tub tile floor, again with the window, okay, dual vanity, and then a nice tiled shower with a niche, okay, updated fixtures, very nice. So let's go back into the hallway here, we look at the other two bedrooms. So you come back out into the hallway, to your left, this would have led into the kitchen. The kitchen then leads back into the dining room. Let's go ahead and check out that hall bathroom, but first we're going to take a look at this linen closet right here. Okay. And then through here we have the guest bathroom, another gorgeous shower. Now there's no bathtub in the guest bathroom, but I guess if you want to take a bath, you have a very nice whirlpool tub to do so in the master. Glass block. Again, what I really like is the glass doors. These, um, you know, are pretty high end and they're really nice to have in lieu of a shower curtain. And we've got two more bedrooms to take a look at. Bright, now lots of natural light because there's lots of windows. You've got the high ceilings. It's actually very nice size bedrooms. And then the nice thing is this one has a large walk-in closet. Okay. 